Hello, welcome back to PL SQL tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial, we are going to discuss about uh, how to write a simple PL SQL program. Then we'll introduce you a couple of tools. How do you do that? Okay. So before uh, going to dive into the uh, tools, let's try to understand a couple of concepts. A PL SQL program consists of blocks. So what you are seeing here is a fundamental simple basic block a basic block will contain a declare begin exception and end okay so there are three sessions a block contains one is declare begin and end and exception out of which declare and exception are optional whereas begin and end is mandatory. That means if I write a PL SQL block, I must have an begin and end. So inside begin and end, what you do, we write our business logic. Okay, we declare some variable in the declare session. We use those variables inside this begin and end. And between begin and end, we also declare another, uh, another element called exception. Exception is nothing but if something gone wrong here in your begin execution, like you know, basically let's say some sum SQL statement did not expect it to do something. Okay. So in that case, if there's error condition or exceptional condition arises whenever we are executing an SQL statement, then it will directly go to the exception block, handle those errors, and then leave the block gracefully. So the execution will start from here and go all the way down. All right. So now it's time to let's take a look at a very basic PL SQL block. So the example of a block here I'm showing, I have declared two variables called bonus and employee ID. Then I initialize employee ID with 100. And then I select salary and then I multiply it to, uh, by 0.1. And then whatever the value I got, I put it in bonus. So essentially I have a table called employees and I fetch a data from employees table where the employee ID is 100. Okay, and then let's say that salary is 5000. Then I multiply that one with 0 0.1 and then I store whatever value, that value in bonus, which is 500. And then I didn't have to go to exception because this is a normal SQL, I could execute this SQL and I could get a data, whatever I expected. Right, I'm expecting one data and I got it. So therefore, it's nothing, nothing to do with exception. And then let's go back and then end, end, end up the program. We will discuss a lot on exception in maybe in chapter 4 or chapter 5 in PL SQL. And then there are a lot of creative way that you can use exception to do a lot of creative things. All right. So now let's try to do some uh, live example. So by the way, uh, in order to uh, run this block, you can do in a different ways. Like you can just write in a text file and then execute that one on your SQL prompt. Okay. Or else you can use a tool which is called SQL developer. And then write this uh, you know in the SQL SQL developer you can write this program in it. So for, for this PL SQL tutorial we'll use SQL developer which is a free tool given by Oracle Corporation and it has a lot of capabilities like indenting like debugging and all this thing so therefore I'm going to use SQL developer uh, for my demos tutorials and even for my real life work you can also use another tool called toad which is a third-party tool by quest software uh, you can get that and then you know I don't know how much it cost and all uh, and so basically my point here is that there is no only one way to write the PL SQL program okay so if you install Oracle SQL developer it's going to look like this the first thing that I need to do, I need to create a connection to my database. So I do a new connection and then I give a connection name. Say the connection name is test connects test program or basically you know, my username is Scott. So let's say I, 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 I give the name as Scott connection. Right? Then my username is Scott. So I give the Scott and then password is Tiger. 
All right. Then I also need to uh, give my host name on where Oracle is installed. So essentially, I have an Oracle database installed on my local host, listening on port 1521, and the seed, the system identification is XE. So all these things are taken by default by this tool. The tool is a little bit smart enough. It is, it is recognizing that there is a database, and so it is prompting you. And if you want, you can change this thing, not a problem. Okay, but I don't have to change. I just want to make sure that if this connection is working or not, therefore I can give a test and then see like in my status what is showing. So this is testing the connection right now and looks like successful. Okay, so therefore I say connect. Okay, so here's my Scott connection and then basically Scott connection by clicking this thing, it will expand and it will show me whatever different types of objects there are in that Scott connection. Okay, so for this timing, I don't want to worry about anything. Let's try to write a fast, my, my fast program. So as I told you, my PLSQL block will contain by uh, only begin and end. That's a mandatory thing. So for my fast program, I just want to write the hello world equivalent thing in SPLSQL. So to print, we need a function called dbms underscore output dot put line. So this is something similar to your printf or system.io.system. Uh, Printlm, okay, whatever you do in Java, okay, and then I give a string called hello world. I end this thing and then I do end. Okay, so what I did here, I call this method called dbms output dot put line, and then with the quotes I give the character string. And then if I run this thing, it will give me the output. So before that, I just want to do one more check to make sure that we can able to see the results. Okay. So by doing this thing, I just enable that I can I can see whatever is coming from the server. Okay. So now let's run. Okay. So it's saying that uh, error in line number two. There's something gone wrong here. I don't think there's anything output says dpms underscore output dot put underscore line. Okay. Oh, I don't know. There's something gone wrong. So basically, okay. So now it's saying that anonymous block. Uh, this is anonymous block because we don't have a name for it. Okay. And then it's giving me the output hello world. So now let's do a little bit of more interesting thing. Just begin and end. So let's say I declare a variable called x. I say number. Right. So uh, as I in this Scott schema, I have an employee table. So if I go to tables here in the left hand side, I can browse the employee table. Okay. So so I have an employee table. Let's say I want to. I, my objective here is to get the salary of employee number seven eight three nine, and then multiply that one by point one, and I, whatever the value I'm getting, I'm going to assign that one to a temporary variable. So let's do that. Select sal from EMP. So select sal. Then I want to give into which variable I want to put. So I want to dump into variable x. So whatever value I'm getting for sal from EMP, where EMP number is equal to seven eight three nine. Okay. And then let's say I I declare another variable. I call this bonus number and then what I'm going to do I'm going to do bonus so this is equal to you know whatever this thing you know assignment operator is equal to x multiplied by 0 0.01 okay it's 10 percentage of this and then I'm going to print what is the value of bonus bonus is equal to So if I run this thing, I should get, uh, so let me see what, what should I get. So for employee number 7839, the salary is 5000. So we should get 5000 into X. And then bonus will be 5000 multiplied by 0 0.01. So let's run this thing. Okay. So it says that anonymous block completed. And then it's give me bonus, bonus is equal to 50. Right, so because 500 multiplied by 0 0.01 is 5000 multiplied by 0 0.01 is 50. All right, so this is your second uh, PLSQL program. So what you did, we have a declare, 
we have a begin and end since we still we do not use any exception here don't worry about that chapter number four we're going to use a lot of exceptions all right so now let's go back to our slides so there are different types of uh, blocks right so there is one block called anonymous which we have used right now because we don't have any name for that and that's the reason why it is showing that anonymous block is completed however you can create a procedure and then you can put the same begin end whatever you wrote same thing can be done there exactly same whatever you did here in anonymous block but you give a name procedure and name okay so if you do that what is going to happen is all these things is going to be stored in the database okay so this is just temporary you just run this thing tomorrow you, you have to write again but if I write this thing and then store in the database which is called a stored procedure then I can run execute it again and again until I dropped it until I destroy that procedure similarly there is another concept called function the difference between procedure and function is that function will return a data type where procedure is may or may not All right so these are the three types of blocks and then we use these blocks more you know creative way uh, like you know while writing a complete PLSQL procedure so with this uh, in the next tutorial we are going to discuss about variables thank you